Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, January 6th, 2021. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses. And the link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And as you can see, we have rallied quite a bit. We're up 0.3% um, at this current stage. And at this point, we are going to target these previous highs here. We found resistance here at a support at the 20 exponential moving average. And now we're just continuing higher. If you look at technical indicators for uh, this currency pair, we are overbought at this current stage. So we may see a little bit of pullback and then uh, go back and forward. So a little bit of choppy trading. So we are overbought just keep that in mind so we may test these previous highs but it's very unlikely that we'll break through these previous highs if we rally all the way up here so other indicators for example macd we are basically bullish at this point the cci is becoming bearish and the stochastic is also becoming bearish as you can see we found basically support here in the middle of the, the bullish band which is the moving 20 moving average and now we're heading back towards the top of the bullish band if we get there, we'll certainly have a pullback towards the middle again because we are overbought at this current stage. Let's look at the U US and yen. We are basically falling apart here in the US dollar yen. At this current stage, we are going most likely going to test this um, uh, lower trend line here. And if that is the case, we'll see something similar to this. When we get close to that, we'll have a pop all the way up towards the very highs here. This is what we have been doing for the last nine months or so, all the way back to, to uh, April or March last year. And, um, and yes, every time we get close to the upper channel, we basically sell. When we get close to the, to the lower channel, we buy. And then you just go back and forward within this channel. The... 20, 40, and the 50 have also acted as major resistant. So at this current stage, we are oversold. So if we manage to get down here, which would be fantastic because this is a massive buying opportunity. Other technical indicators are very um, bearish at this current stage. But if you look at the Bollinger Band, we are way outside. And that means that we could see quite a bit of a pullback in um, tomorrow's trading and then we continue lower so pull back get this back to above 30 and then have another go at the very lows and when we get down here it is basically buy and buy until we get to the very highs so let's look at the euro us dollar we have rallied a little bit we're up 0 0.22 so we are going to test these previous highs we have tested them today and in, i think it's just a matter of time before we go significantly higher and the 20 exponential moving average is basically the floor in this currency pair so every time we get close to the 20 it is basically a buying opportunity we can see it basically here here and here and if you look at the technical indicators they're all very bullish at this point however we could see a little bit of a pullback before we go higher if you can as you see here the bullish band we are getting fairly overstretched and usually when that happens, you have a bit of a pullback before we go higher. But pullbacks towards the 20 exponential, that is basically buying opportunity at this stage. So Aussie, US dollar, as you can see, we have rallied above these previous highs. And at this current stage, I think that we're going to have a pullback in the Aussie, US dollar. You can see here that we are way outside of the Bollinger Bands. We are significantly overbought. And uh, technical indicators... Other technical indicators are still fairly bullish, both the MACD, the CCI, but the stochastic is still bullish. It has basically turned around. It's above this green line here. So we'll see, but we are way overstretched. So I would not be surprised if we have a massive pullback towards the 20 exponential, roughly 0.76, uh, 35, and then rally from there. As you can see, we are significantly overbought. So US dollar, Canadian dollar, we found resistance here at the 20 exponential moving average, and now we have broken down. So we are trading at 1.266, 
and uh, we haven't been this low for very very long time we have to go all the way back to 2018 in order to see uh, these these um, these kinds of numbers but at this point we are oversold so we could see a little bit of a pullback towards the 20 exponential but pullbacks are basically selling opportunities at this stage you can also see here in the bullish band we are basically getting outside of the lower part of the bullish band and usually that means that we'll head back towards the middle of the bullish band that is roughly 1.27887 so expect a pullback but those pullbacks are basically selling opportunities at this point so hope you find this helpful you're welcome to support our channel by subscribing hit the like button the bell button to see our newest videos and you're welcome to join us over at patreon the link is down below good luck and thank you very much Thank you.